if you've ever wanted to select a server that you play on in Halo Infinite, I'm going to show you how to do that with the Halo Infinite MITM application. In my previous video on this, I showed how to actually set this application up and how to turn on the smart cache feature. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select the server that you play on using this tool. When you get to the server selection page in GitHub, you'll see some information regarding how to actually select the servers and what that installation process looks like. It can be a little confusing, so I'm going to walk you through it now. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to go to this directory. So we can do that. I already pulled it up, but you're going to want to go to your username and then infinite MITM. Once you get to this directory, you'll start seeing some files and some folders here. Uh, for this one, we should see, you should automatically receive a resources folder. So let's click on it and we'll see a JSON folder as well. So we already have that selected. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to this link here and let's go ahead and open that up. You'll see a bunch of JSON here. Um, if you're not familiar with what JSON is, this is basically JavaScript object notation. It's a way of communicating data you don't really need to know the specifics about it, but you'll, what you'll want to do is download the raw file right here. So we can click this and you'll see that start to download. And once it's downloaded, you can go to the file, see it's here. And all you need to do is get your other file up, go to JSON and move that over. So once you move that over, I've already done it. You'll see it in your file directory here and you can just go back. You're good to go there. So. We're good now for those steps. So let's go back to the explainer. Uh, we can replace the server URLs with desired ones. And to understand what this means, we're gonna need to actually open up the file itself. So what we can do is we can go into the file we just created. We can click here and we're gonna wanna click open with. Now in the last video, I, sh I told you that you may wanna uh, actually download Visual Studio Code or another text editor. We're going to want to open it with that so we can save changes to it. So I'm going to open it up and we'll be pulled up with a screen here from Visual Studio Code. Now, the one thing to point out is that this should match the other page that we have here. So this this page and this page should match. So you'll see everything there. Um, and then from there, we're going to actually make changes within this server selection page. Now we're gonna save them using VS Code. And to make those changes, it's relatively straightforward. So you can go ahead and go down here and you'll see the URLs listed for each server. Now, if we read what we need to do to make this happen, the best thing to read is this portion, portion here. So in the example above, this is what the schema looks like. This is basically what the file structure looks like or what the object looks like. And what we wanna do is if we wanna force, let's say East 2 given this example, you can replace all the server URL instances except for the East US 2 one with a distant server such as Australia East. So what we would do theoretically in that position is replace every single one of these uh, of these regions with a very far away one. For me, Australia East would work best. So what I would do is I would copy this and I'm gonna use it and then re replace all the server URL instances with that. Uh, I've done this already. So you can see Australia East in all of these servers here. And I've left alone servers that I actually want to play on. So I'm in the east coast of the United States. So I left East US good, East US 2 good to go. And then North Central and Central just to give myself a little bit more server selection types um, to make, make finding things a little bit easier. And all these servers do relatively okay for me. So I'm fine with them. If I wanted to only get East US 1 or 2, I would simply replace all of these with Australia East and I'd be good to go. So you want to replace it with one that's far away and let the normal servers as ones that you would want to play on. So all we need to do from there is go up, click File, Save, 
and you're good to go. So all the servers that you're going to be receiving should be only East US 1 and East US 2. Everything else you shouldn't receive, so this will force you to get the servers that are best for you. Again, you'll maybe want to force only ones that are best for your location, so to do that, just swap out everything for far away ones. You should now be at a point where the servers that you want to play are selected, and you should only receive those going forward. If you have any questions, or if you have any comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.